Well, in other news, the Office of the President says the directive on the abuse of uh, sirens by ministers and of state and other government officials is still in place. Regulation 74.3 of LI 2180 specifies the categories of vehicles that a siren or bell may be fitted as a warning appliance. Those vehicles include government vehicle used for official purposes by head of state, a police vehicle, a motor vehicle used by the fire service, an ambulance, and a motor vehicle used by a recognized government security agency, the MTTD, as over the period had a tough time checking government appointees who use or abuse these sirens or put the, install the sirens in their vehicles. And we're asking tonight, what difference will it make now that we're hearing from the office of the president? And the office of the president has issued uh, a secular or a letter to his, the appointees, the ministers and other government officials that they are to cease abusing those sirens and it goes on to say that it kindly notes that the directive on the abuse of the use of sirens by ministers of state and other government officials is still in force and it quotes the law it goes to the end and says that for, for the avoidance of doubt the said ban on the use of sirens covers the following government appointees one honorable ministers of ministers and deputy ministers two regional ministers and deputy regional ministers three metropolitan municipal and district chief executives four ceos of government agencies and officials of the presidency unless otherwise designated now joining us uh, via zoom now is dsp alexander Kukubing. he's a director for education research and training at the motor traffic and transport department of the ghana police service thank you very much uh, for making time to speak with us. So we know that it has been difficult for the police to enforce this directive on the abuse of sirens. Does this letter issued by the president to his appointees make your work any easier? All right, he's right. Thank you very much. Uh, I'm surprised so soon you've forgotten about my name. I'm so pretending to not yes. Sorry about Maybe that. It's because of the better career. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. I'm saying you're all, you're all so pretending to take care of me. Anyway, that's, that's on the lighter side. I think uh, uh, it is a good call. And uh, Israel, you are aware that when it comes to traffic law enforcement, admonishment is also part of it. That seeks to prevent, that seeks to increase sense of. Uh, detection and apprehension among users. And so if the appointing authority is reminding uh, his appointees of the need to comply with one of the basic uh, rules of engagement on our road in the LI-2180, uh, specifically Regulation 74, uh, reading it together with uh, Regulation 165 and 166, it is a, a good call, and I, I expect all other ministries, department and agency officials, including security agencies, to uh, take a cue from it and also internally admonish their uh, uh, personnel so that uh, all of us will refrain from the misuse and abuse. To, that goes a long way to making traffic law enforcement uh, sometimes difficult and uh, uh, unnecessarily uh, tasking for traffic police. Now, it is one thing admonishing the people or the people who abuse the sirens, but it is another thing enforcing the law. And you are mandated as the police to enforce the law. Are you going to do anything different apart, apart from just uh, letting this uh, admonition go? Well, I think that uh, uh, over time, uh, you recall under uh, war on indiscipline, uh, we made significant arrests, and uh, I think you have evidence to show, even the media, of government officials uh, being uh, arrested and all that. So I think that we, we only will naturally sustain it. And uh, we hope in coming uh, months, there are even 
uh, operating the intense of uh, detection and arresting will even move further than we have uh, now currently physically deployed to detect to include other current, uh, uh, modern ICT methods and that will even make it easier for us to uh, detect and impose fines and all that. So uh, we will deploy to the teeth. We will look out for drivers, in particular of such vehicles, who are not supposed to drive uh, uh, such uh, vehicle occupants uh, using such uh, uh, prohibited uh, vehicles in terms of construction fitted with vehicle lights and sirens. And then uh, we will not hesitate to proceed to court on charge sheets. So uh, we, will, we will definitely do that. But I hope that with this, uh, uh, the, uh, these particular road users who find themselves working with the, the state who listen to the departmental head or the office of the president so that uh, they will be seen to be compliant because most of the times uh, studies have shown that when political appointees don't listen to appointed authority, uh, it goes a long way to inconvenience the general public. The general public transfer their annoyance in terms of setting disapproval that goes uh, against the, 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 the appointed authority. So it is natural that the appointees will also be fair to the appointed authority and comply with this basic rule of engagement. It will be a very large extent to it will help. It will be uh, a behavior worthy of emulation because others also look up to appointees to comply with basic rules of engagement. So if appointees who are supposed to set uh, uh, you know, higher standards uh, in terms of moral standards tend to violate including, for example, locally, if you see MC, DC, and uh, regional, among others, uh, committing road offenses, uh, it, it, it emboldens others to do so. So I think it's the right call, and it will go a long way to help helping police to uh, have a, a, a smooth enforcement on our roads. I'll return, and, and to, also, you. I'll, I'll return uh, to you in a bit, Superintendent Tobin, but I'd want to go to David Osafford. He's the Director of Planning and Programs uh, at the National Road Safety Authority. Thank you very much for making time to also speak with us. I'm asking, I want to find out from you, what difference will this directive make, if any at all? Uh, I think that where the news has come as a very welcome one to all of us Ghanaians, particularly some of us who are behind of our city movement and practical enforcement. We, over the past number of years, uh, we know the, uh, the intensity with which we have come out advocating for traffic uh, behavior, especially amongst road users and drivers in particular. And then narrowing down to this sort of misbehavior on the part of some motorists who have taken hands and then driving and, and using sirens with impunity, uh, as if there's no law in Ghana. I think the police has had a, they've had a couple of challenges um, dealing with this particular problem as, as regards uh, arresting and prosecuting the offenders. Uh, and you know that they are handicapped. Uh, I believe Supo, in, in his narrations and submissions, appears to be saying that there's a challenge, especially the people involved happen to be high-profile personalities, uh, politicians, and what have you, uh, and ministers, parliamentarians, and so on. And it becomes very difficult to arrest people like and, and, and put them uh, behind, uh, you know, or in court for, for prosecution. But once the president has spoken, uh, I mean, coming from the president, I, I believe it is very motivating for the police in particular to place a, a, a supporting strategy to deal with the, with the issue. The convenience it brings to society in traffic, and, and then the risk also that it poses um, for road use, uh, as well as road safety and, and, and traffic crashes and so on. Uh, in, the, in the past, we... we some crashes and even deaths or casualties involving 
um, this particular class of people driving through traffic and hitting pedestrians. So if you go into our statistics, we'll find that some pedestrians have been hit, and this, because of the personalities, they, 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 they go scot free, they run away, <laughs> because you can't even get them and, and, and apprehend. So I think that it's come at the right time that we are advocating for uh, Arrive Alive campaign uh, together with you. Um, uh, and I think that it's going to stop a lot of misbehaviors as regards the use of sirens and street, especially for drivers who sometimes happen to be ordinary men, I must say, ordinary men, who are just driving through traffic to do something that has nothing to do with emergency. And there are quite a number of them. Yeah, to buy, I, I to buy watch you, for instance. Them, yes, that will use with the basis uh, from the president now uh, to do what is right amongst all, all of us as road users, and also for the police to motivate them uh, to, to enforce more vigorously, as is provided in, in the LI-2180. Now, Mr. Dante, what would you do or what would you advise the motorists to do if they come across these vehicles that are trying to bully them off the road? In fact, I'm tempted to say that every Ghanaian, whether you are the police or not the police, right to cause uh, arrest. I think this is a basic principle that we all know. So when we happen to be in traffic and we find people flouting the road traffic regulation, it is by right as Ghanaian that we draw the attention of the police to Or in other words, if there's a way the police can link up with the general public to then uh, when these things happen. I, I am not advocating for a case where we should prevent them because when you do that, it becomes confrontation. I think we should still give the police the mandate to do the arrest and then the prosecutions when it comes to this kind of thing. So uh, I will still ask that we as citizens, as road users, we should first of all discipline ourselves. We should be honest and responsible and, and comply with these regulations that the president himself has come to emphasize. If we do that, it makes the work very easier. Right. But I know that in the with the police is going to step up their enforcement activities and revive what we call the war against indiscipline. And they will have to take this one on very strongly. All right. We will support them from the National Security Authority point of view. And I, show, I think that much as we will educate the people and advise them to stay away from these kind of practices, it is our hope and expectation that in the coming day, we see a change, a very big change in our traffic situation when it comes to the use of siren. It's a big opportunity for us to change. If okay. we don't, then police, uh, Supo and your men, we encourage you and we support you and we give you all the necessary support to go all out and do the arrest. And please don't just whichever and whoever happens to be within the bracket, I think the law will not have to discriminate. It's and do it very well. All right. Thank you very much, uh, David Osafo Adonting of the National Road Safety Authority. Now, coming to you, uh, Superintendent Alex Obeying, what would you encourage or what would you advise motorists to do when they come across uh, such vehicles? I think, uh, as Mr. Adonting said, uh, we encourage the, media, the, the general public to support us in one aspect of our strategy, name and shape, uh, in collaboration with the media. If you see people you suspect to be using such a vehicle in such a manner, with siren blaring and sometimes with a beacon light, and you suspect that they are abusing and misusing it, and that they are not supposed to fit them on their vehicle, all these vehicles have registration numbers. Just the telephone number, uh, uh, your telephone you have snapping the picture of. Uh, sections where the number police are putting it on the social media, forwarding it to any media house or to police who go a very long way to help us trace the owner. And the owner will definitely will be forthcoming. Uh, as I said, it is also important that uh, the media joins us so that we also encourage all other ministry, department, and agencies to also follow suit to internally warn 
the, those who are driving government vehicles and other, uh, either private and all that, to ensure that they use the vehicle like any other vehicle. Otherwise, as we are stepping up our enforcement efforts and look out, uh, we will be robust and uh, detect and arrest and, like I said, charge those who are driving such vehicles and those who unlawfully uh, uh, equipped their vehicles with unauthorized sirens, horns, bells, and uh, uh, beacon lights so that uh, they will be forthcoming at the courts. We will do All right. it. All right. And we, we pray that uh, in this light, you continue to support us in whatever we under arrive at life and war on indiscipline. Because in much of this, we need the media to help us send this uh, deterrent information to the general, general public to accept All our right. traffic enforcement methods on Thank this. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, Superintendent Alex Obeng is the Director for, uh, for Education, Research and Training at the Police Motor Traffic and Transport Department. You're watching Join News Prime.